Well, folks, here again for the weekly forecast. Of course, during this last week, the primary business of duty for the Central Plains was mainly dry conditions. We had a couple waves move through that did generate some light precipitation across scattered portions of central Nebraska. And then, of course, the, earlier in the week, we had a little bit of light snow reported up in portions of northern and northeast Nebraska with the more concentrated accumulations across portions of Iowa, uh, southern Minnesota, and then points off to the east. Now, during this next seven-day period, we are turning our attention to the energy starting to move into the western United States and what will its eventual impacts have on the central and southern plains is the models are kind of up in the air of how to treat that upper air low, whether to bring it out in pieces or to bring it out as a cut up of air low. And either one of those solutions can give a widely different scenario for the central plains. So let's show you the latest and what we expect with the upper air models. And the first thing I'll draw your attention to is the way that passed through over the last 24 hours now strengthening over the Great Lakes region, so we will see some precipitation in the Great Lakes region, but for our region, we're going to get a temporary lull in the activity and a fairly nice day today as we have a high pressure ridge building into the region, so we should be well above seasonal totals. We pretty much in the 60s and then as we go into tomorrow we're going to see a southwest flow aloft as this trough tries to come in shore and that is going to allow surface flow to come out of the south as will lift our temperatures a few more degrees so we're going to be pushing the upper 60s to possibly low 70s particularly across the southwest part of the state and uh, the increase in moisture may actually help generate a few showers, particularly as we get into the evening and overnight hours. Although it doesn't look to be widespread, it looks like the more concentrated area of thunderstorm activity may actually be more down in eastern Kansas and eastern Oklahoma. But as we get into Monday, we'll start to see this energy kicking out. And that will have the ability to, once again, generate thunderstorm activity. And right now, I would say the best bet for severe weather outbreak would be from central Kansas, southward through eastern Texas. And as we get on the northern end, we may need to touch a thunderstorm here or there in eastern Nebraska, but right now I'd say the odds bear more favor toward the south of us. Temperatures, once again, will be approaching the 70 degree mark. It's going to be a question how much cloud cover we get with this system and whether or not we breach the 70 degree mark, but it should be a fairly nice day. But then as we get into Tuesday, the main piece of that energy starts to move toward the Great Lakes and weaken, and we get a little bit of cooling on the back side of this, so we're going to be back down to more seasonal temperatures, and we'll still carry a chance for a little bit of precipitation, at least in the southern half of the state. Now, as we go into Wednesday, we see that upper air low trying to get itself agonized and moving a little bit toward the north, and we have some moisture coming up into central Kansas, so some of this may make it into Nebraska, but it looks like the cold front at the surface may actually keep most of the concentrated moisture to our south. As we get into the day Thursday, here's that upper or low and we see rigid high pressure building in so it looks to be fairly nice conditions as the moisture stays to our south and we see the same type of scenario on Friday although some of this moisture looks like it may get in here late Friday night in terms of the 8 to 14 day forecast we see warm temperatures all the way through the extended and in terms of precipitation with that low to our south it looks like a dry trend all the way through at least uh, next Tuesday.